Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the marquee tool in Reaper. Now, the marquee tool is one of the more powerful features in Reaper, but I really feel like it's being underused. That's why I wanted to show you its benefit. So, to get to it, we're going to go to the mouse modifiers in our preferences. Go down over here under editing and go to mouse modifiers. Now, if you want to dig deeper into mouse modifiers, I have a collection of videos dedicated to all of them. But in this video, I want to focus just on the marquee tool. So if you're not familiar with the mouse modifiers, here's how it works. You choose up here the context, which is basically what you're clicking on or clicking near or clicking around. For starters, I'm going to choose media item right here. Then we can choose over here what we're actually doing. Left clicking, left dragging, or double clicking. For this, we're going to choose left drag. And right over here is the behavior that's going to happen when we drag. The default action is to move the item, and it's going to ignore the time selection. And over here is a bunch of modifiers. If we hold down those modifiers, it's going to change that behavior over here. Now, if you notice, nothing is set up for the marquee tool. Over here, at least not by default. Now, down over here are a few unused ones. So I'm going to use this one right here. On Mac, it's Control, but on PC, it's Command. But it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Just choose an unused one or change one of the default ones that you never use. But to keep it simple, I'm going to stick with this one right here. So now if I double click this, we can see the options we could change it to. And we go down over here to choose Marquee Select Items. There's a few different options to go with it. Let's start with just select. And if we hold on the modifier and left drag on a media item, it's going to marquee select it. And what that means is it's going to draw selections based on geometric shapes. In this case, a rectangle. So I'm going to go over here to one of the items, hold on that modifier, and notice how the tool changes. That's our marquee tool. So I can drag on this item, and it selects it. Keep dragging to this one, this one, and this one. And if I let go, they all get selected. Let's do the same over here. Grab these three. We're down over here. These four. So it's a quick way of selecting items, instead of selecting them one at a time. Grab our tool and select them all, just like that. Now, if you notice, we have to be within the item. If I go out here, hold on the modifier, nothing happens. And that's based on the context that we chose. Right over here, media item, left drag. So we have to be in the item to perform this function. Although we can change that, but we'll get to that later. For now, let's check out the other options. Besides marquee and select items, we could also choose ignoring snap, which is only going to matter if we choose this next option. This is one of my favorites, set time selection. If we choose this, now we can marquee select items, but it's also going to create a time selection. So let's say I wanted to select from bar 5 to bar 11 and grab these four items, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just go here. Hold on the modifier and start dragging, and it creates a time selection, but it also selects all those items like this. So now we can edit it based on that selection. We can go to edit, and we can cut items within the time selection. Choose that, and it cuts only the items we selected within the time selection. So it's a lot quicker for doing edits. Let's do it again. Let's go from 11 to 15. And we'll select these four. Then we can cut it. And just those items that were selected, not these ones down here, 
within the time selection, a cut. So it's very useful for editing. Now we could also toggle the selection or add to the selection. If we choose toggle, we select some items. And now if we use the marquee tool, what's marquee? These four? It's going to deselect these two and select these two instead. So it toggles them to the opposite. So we can quickly toggle between these items or these or these. Just select all four and they toggle to the opposite state. These are selected and these are not. And these are selected and these are not. But we could also add to selection. So if we choose this, if we have a few items that are already selected, let's select these two. We can go down here to these two and add them to the selection, like this. Or these. So it makes it very easy to add items to a selection. But if we go back to just select, the behavior is more like this. If I select these, just these get selected. Or these, or these. Now besides selecting our items with the marquee tool, we could also zoom with the tool to marquee zoom. This is one of my favorite ways to focus on a section of an item. Let's choose this. Now if we hold on the modifier within the media item, it changes to a zoom tool. See, it looks like a magnifying glass. So I could zoom with this tool. Now before I do this, we should set up one other action. Let's go to media item and let's go to left click. And again, this modifier isn't being used. So let's set it up to restore the previous zoom level. So if we choose this and go back to our zoom tool, hold on the modifier, we can zoom in just in this section right here. And it zooms in to the whole screen. So now if I want to zoom back out, hold on the same modifier and just click over here and it goes back to the previous zoom level. That's why I wanted to set that up. And it works on multiple tracks. So we can go right here to these two tracks, hold on the modifier, and zoom in just to this area right here. Just the area I'm selected is going to get zoomed to the full screen, like this. And we can keep going if we want. We could zoom just on this spot here, get even closer, and then just click it with the modifier to go back to the previous zoom level. So I find that to be a very quick way of zooming in. I want to edit over here, just zoom in, do my adjustment, and zoom right back out. And that's the marquee zoom right here. Now the marquee tool can be used in other contexts. Set a media item, let's choose track. And we can do the same thing in this context. So in this context, we also have marquee select items with the same options as before. We could choose just select. And now we can go outside the item and marquee things. So instead of being in here, we can go over here, hold on the modifier, it changes to the marquee tool, and we can select multiple items. We could select these three, these two over here, these two down here. Now, if you're having trouble, let's say you zoomed in and you can't find some empty area, you can go above the track over here, hold on the modifier, we can select it this way. So above the media item on the track is still considered that same context. And all the other options work as well. So we could switch it to set time selection and do the same thing outside the track. Let's select from five to 11, hold on the modifier, click outside the media item on the track, and drag this. Let's grab just these two. And we created a time selection and selected just these two items. So we can cut them, and they're gone. 
And the same thing for toggle selection and add to selection. But we could also use the marquee zoom. So again, go outside the items on the track, turns to a zoom tool. So we could zoom in to just this area right here. It zooms this big. Keep going, just one track, and clicking in here goes back to the previous zoom. So what I like to do is use both in different contexts. So I tend to keep a zoom tool on the track, like this. And then I marquee select in the items. So I change this to just select or with time selection. So I can select items and create a time selection like this in the item, or I can zoom outside the item on the track very quickly. There's a few other contexts where this also works, and that deals with MIDI. So let's go down here to MIDI note, and left drag, and down over here, this modifier is also unused. Go to Marquee and have all the same options. Let's choose Just Select. And now if we go to the MIDI editor by double clicking a MIDI item, we can hold down that modifier and go inside a note and it changes it to the Marquee tool. So I can select notes just like this. Select some of these maybe some of these, and it makes it a lot easier to select multiple notes. If we want to select just these five notes here, hold on the modifier and select them like this. And just these notes are selected. So we can delete them, move them around, just this start. It's a lot easier to select multiple notes. But again, this has to be chosen within the note. If I go out here, it doesn't work. But we could change that with a different context. Instead of MIDI note, let's put this back. And instead, we'll choose MIDI piano roll. And if we choose that and put the marquee there, select notes, just select with time selection. Let's choose toggle selection for this. And now instead of doing it inside the notes, we can do it outside the notes, in the background of our piano roll. So right click, changes our tool, and I can select just these four, or these over here, and they get added to the selection. Or I could toggle them by taking them out. Take these out, add this one back in, add these two in, maybe the ones down here, remove these two, so it's very easy to choose which notes you want to work on, instead of having to select each one, one at a time, like this. So it's a very useful tool. Between selecting, like this, or zooming, like this, the Marquee tool helps us work a lot faster. So that's pretty much it. That's the Marquee tool in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.